For the HN3 Lewis structure, there are several ways to draw it. Here we have three Lewis structures, and each one of these works in terms of having full outer shells for each of the atoms and using the 16 valence electrons that we have available for the HN3 Lewis structure. So the question is, which one of these is the most appropriate Lewis structure for HN3? One way to determine that is to look at the formal charges for each atom. When we calculate the formal charges, we want our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. So when we look at the last Lewis structure here with that negative two and those two positive ones, that's probably not the best Lewis structure for HN3. The other two structures are similar. We have a negative one and a plus one in both of them. So in this case, what's gonna happen, we'll have what's called resonance structures. The actual structure for HN3 is gonna be somewhere between these two Lewis structures here that we've drawn. So in a sense, they're both correct, but the actual molecule in the real world will be a combination or a mixture of these two Lewis structures for HN3. So that's the Lewis structure for HN3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.